Sticking with the theme of adaptive or dynamic programming, let's create a button in our portal that deletes a row. But in any portal we choose, not just this one that we see on the screen right now. I want it to be any portal. That means it needs to be adaptive. And what part needs to be adaptive? Well, it's not the delete part. That's fine. It knows where it is. It's going to delete that row. What needs to be adaptive is the message that we put up there. I don't want to use the generic FileMaker message. I want to have my own message in there that says, do you want to delete a contact? Now, before we go on any further, let's go ahead and change this. We're going to unlock this and change this tab so it says contacts instead. There we go, rename it. Always forget to hit rename, you gotta do that. You can't just type in, you have to have rename, it has to say it up there. So don't forget that, because sometimes you can type in a long calculation and then click OK and then the calculation's gone. So be careful about that. Now it says contacts, which is what we want. And we're gonna go over here and put another button here. So I'm gonna duplicate this button put it over here on the right side and let's make sure I've got it there it go it's lined up and so I don't forget I'm gonna first go ahead with the anchoring there double click on it there's a nice little trash can icon there let's see how that looks it's not getting cut off I think that's pretty good we can work with that and so we're gonna make a script now because it's gonna take more than one step here so we're gonna call it portal row and you can see I'm using some good naming conventions here. Anytime I want to find something that has to do with a portal row, I can type in portal row or just portal. And anytime I want to find something that has to do with new or delete, then I can go ahead and type in that word. And probably I should go ahead with the consistency here and put new here. So I'll put new instead there. And we'll save that. That way I can, it, it, with good naming conventions, you can quickly find what you want. So in other words, new, look at that. We can see everything we want. Okay, so portal row delete. So we of course are gonna use portal row delete right there with the dialog off. Because we want our own message. We don't wanna see the FileMaker message that says portal row and things like that. We don't wanna see all that stuff. So to do that, we're gonna need a show custom dialog. So I type in SCD show custom dialog and in there you can specify a lot of stuff we're not going to do everything we're going to put in delete and here's where we want to have the adaptive nature we're going to put get script parameter there we go and then we're going to do the same thing are you sure you want to delete this and then get script parameter there we go and there's a lot of concatenation going on here these ampersands do that we need a quote right there we need a quote right here then an ampersand and so it should put that script parameter right in the middle of our text now I'm going to want it lower here, so I'm going to surround it with the lower function so it's all lower case. But up here, I'm going to want it in proper case. There we go, just to make sure it's all looking perfect for me. And then we're going to have two choices, yes and no. There we go, click OK. That's, of course, going to go before the delete. And then after the show custom dialog, we can test with an if statement. If statements are one of the coolest things, they allow you to go ahead and determine whether you go this route or that route. Which fork in the road do you take? So what you do is you put the if around what you want to control, which in this case is delete portal row. And we're going to type right in here, get last, and you can see it's typing it for me, so I'll just select it, equals one. Now what is one? Well, the buttons are easy. Button one is this one, button two, button three. There's one, two, three. It doesn't matter what they say, they're numbered. And so if and only if this is true, that they clicked yes, then we'll delete. Otherwise, it skips this entire area here. Doesn't do anything. So now we've got our own custom message. 
didn't take very long and we can adapt it to any portal by adding a different script parameter. So we double click on here, tell it to perform the script, portal road delete, and then we'll say contact. Click OK, close that, go to browse mode, hit the delete button. We're sure we want to delete this contact, you see it's lowercase and this one's proper. I'll hit no and nothing should happen. If I hit yes, of course, it'll delete it, but I don't want to do that right now. So there's adaptive programming at its very most essence. And you don't have to have a complicated script to do really cool adaptive programming and make your job easier. Because now I can use the script anywhere I want whenever I'm deleting a portal with some simple, just typing some text changes. That's it.